Hey, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back to this lesson. We're going to show you how we can fix the position of our labels. I'm starting up the simulator with our app, and I'm going to show you a special mode of the simulator. When we go and we try to change this to something like $30 or $33, and you calculate the tip, you're going to notice that the, the labels sort of move around or the text seems like it's moving around. It's not centered. And we can go ahead and go to our debug options under the simulator. And if we show the blended layers, it's going to make us see a funky screen. But what we're going to see if you're, I guess, not super colorblind is that there's this box here and its outline doesn't match sort of the shape. Uh, we can switch over to the storyboard and, and we can see this issue in the storyboard. I know the color scheme is probably not great for some people. I know I'm a little bit colorblind, so that's a little hard to see these changes. Let's go over here and we'll look at these labels. So let's say I put 15 in here. What's going to happen? Well, that's not fair. It just resized it, so that's not really a good example. We would see that it would move over to the left and it would be left aligned. It's hard to see because these all of these labels are, are the exact sizes of the text that we have here. But what we see is that the size of the text here does not match the size of that bound. And so to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to select all three of these holding the command key or the shift key, or you can do each one individually. We just need to select all of them. So holding shift or command, we're going to open up our sidebar. And then on the sidebar, there's an option for text alignment in the center panel. So you want to click on this little icon and then right here. That will center align them so that when we go ahead and run the application, let's check out and see what happens. If we type in 30, we see that they're now center aligned. And it's a little hard to see, but if I turn that off now, you can do a rough estimate of the sides here and you can see that it's center aligned. The other issue we have to fix is that it is clipping. And so what we'll do is we'll come back to the storyboard, our main.storyboard. We'll click on these holding shift to select all of them so that we can edit them all together. And right now they don't support shrinking. So when we have too much text, they just do the ellipses. And so we can change that by doing a minimum font size of 11. And that's going to allow us when we have a really big tip to go ahead and display it correctly. Let's do a thousand. And we see that the text shrinks. Let's do a little bit more. And it shrinks down. So we're seeing the full number. It's going to give us a, a better control. The other problem that we have here is that this doesn't really fit and we want to right align the text. It's not right aligned, so we can click on it. We can see it's left aligned. So I'm going to click on the UI text field in our storyboard file and I'm going to do the same type of thing, but I'm going to do the left or the right align. The other thing that I want to do is I want to resize it so that it's going to fit the, the area correctly. So it's not taking advantage of the full screen, which means that when I try to click over here on the left with my finger or the mouse, we can't click on it. We can only click on the text field on this side. And to make this interactive and usable for most people, we want this whole region to be considered active. And so we'll have to resize this. And if I hold the Alt or Option key, you can sort of see the size positioning. We're 11 points from the right side. I want to do the same thing on the left side. This is going to be a little bit tricky. We're at 149 away, and trying to drag this is a little problematic with sort of the default snapping. So the default snap is at 21, but I want a little further, and I'm at 15, so a little more, and now I went too far. I'm going to zoom in here, so we're going to just do the zoom in. I'm down here. I'm holding the, the Alt key to see how far away I am. And then I'm letting go of that and I'm dragging this back a little bit. And there we go. I got to 11. So if you want to get the exact numbers, these are the numbers that we want for the iPhone 8 screen. This, these are values you could type into the, the measurement panel and it would be easier. Or you can try and do it yourself. Just be aware that when you move this around, it's going to try and snap to things. 
and the guides aren't going to be in line with you want. If it goes in the wrong spot, just do Command Z to undo its position. But you should see if we zoom back out and we hold the Alt or Option key and we look at the relative positions, this is kind of what we're looking for with the layout. This is going to give us that, that good layout. And we go ahead and run the app. We should now be able to tap the left side and our font and everything should be right aligned. So you can see I am now in the window. It's now selected. So that's good. And we can throw in a new value, say 275, calculate tip, and we have our new tip. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, if there's anything you'd like to do. There's a lot of different places where you can take this and make this work a little bit better. One of the things you're gonna notice that when you're working with this, you can type anything. So there are ways to prevent text input like this. There are also ways to make it so that it always auto inserts your dollar symbol. And maybe when you back out of things, it goes back to a default value. So if you want that type of behavior, that's something that you can do to customize this text field. But right now, what you have is a fully functional tip calculator that you can open up when you're in a restaurant and you can plug in a value, calculate the tip, see the different tip amounts, and then add them together. Now, the one downside with this design that I provided you is that there is a bunch of options for making sort of iterations or changes to the app. Right now, it doesn't actually do the total calculation. It does, you have your subtotal, you have the tip amount, and it's up to the user to decide which one they want. Then they kind of have to do some math again. And if you want to make this experience a little bit better, you could do the math for them and you could add another label at the bottom and you could sort of move things around to do that type of calculation. So I want you to explore. I want you to try and tweak this app a little bit. See if you can get some different behavior, if you can get that final bill total to display so that people don't have to do any math when they're at the restaurant. All right, so that's it for this tip tutorial. I will have a couple bonus videos on fixing a couple things in the next tutorial lesson. So thank you for participating in this. Please let me know if you have any questions. My email is paul at supereasyapps.com or you can go to supereasyapps.com to read more about app development. I look forward to seeing what kind of apps you make on the App Store. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you want to download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's going to send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects is going to be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm going to be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm going to be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.